We are keeping a watchful eye on Hurricane Helene. And the storm expected to hit Florida as a major category three or higher. The hurricane is on the move, rapidly strengthening in the Caribbean and heading north on a path towards the Sunshine State. Evacuations have started on our west coast. Mexico officially hit by Helene overnight. Palm trees fought to stand strong as the system brought powerful winds to Cancun and other parts of the country. And South Florida is expected to feel some of the effects of Helene. The storm likely won't hit us directly, but we can expect some gusty winds and downpours as residents remain on high alert. We have live team coverage for you. Our local 10 news coverage has now fanned out all across the state. And our hurricane specialist and storm surge expert Michael Lari is also standing by, but we begin with Chief Certified Meteorologist Betty Davis with everything you need to know, Betty. Hi guys, the new advisory is in, so let's get straight to the stats. Getting a little stronger as expected. Maximum sustained winds 85 miles per hour, so that's up from 80, pressure 978 millibars. Moving north at 12 miles per hour, and that center of circulation is 505 miles south-southwest of Apalachicola, Florida. So clearly uh, it just continues to gain steam and the forecast, the intensity forecast that has changed in that it's now forecast to be a category four hurricane by Thursday as it starts to close in around the Big Bend of Florida. And after it uh, makes that landfall near the Big Bend of Florida, it takes its uh, path into the southeast, weakening as it interacts with land and also dumping out plenty of heavy rainfall. But even by early Friday, as it's over a portion of Georgia, forecast to be a tropical storm. So a lot of places will be dealing with the impact from this system. I should mention that already I've been tracking a gusty rain band and lifting in around the Key West area, winds gusting to 38 miles per hour. I'll bring in our hurricane specialist and storm surge expert Michael Lowry now. Uh, Michael, we are expecting uh, the winds to get even stronger, stronger gusts, tropical storm force later tonight for the Keys. But let's just talk about this system and the changes we're noting with the forecast. Cat 4. Betty, it's hard to overstate the consequential, the, how consequential this hurricane uh, will be on this forecast. This is a big forecast from the Hurricane Center. Not only are they telling us that this is expected to be a Category 4 hurricane, they're saying, and I'll show you this in a minute when we show you the track, that between where their sort of last forecast point is before landfall and landfall, they could it could even get stronger than that. Here's the latest information. Betty just showed it to you, but I'll reiterate. Winds at 85 miles per hour, pressure's down to 978. A Hurricane Hunter airplane is headed out there right now, and we'll get some information from them momentarily in terms of what the actual pressures are. These are estimates from the Hurricane Center. But look at the forecast track here. This is taking it into not only the Big Bend, but into a very populated part of the Big Bend, into the state capital there in Tallahassee. The forecast track really square on Leon County into Wakulla County at the coast, Franklin County. These are all areas under a hurricane warning, winds of 130 miles per hour. But the Hurricane Center again saying that in their latest discussion that this could be even stronger between where that point is at, at Thursday afternoon and when it makes landfall, probably sometime on Thursday evening. In terms of the how big this uh, hurricane is, you can see that just based on the extent of the wind alerts right now. We have wind watches and warnings all the way up into parts of the southeast U.S. and the lower Appalachians, including the entire state of Georgia. As this accelerates, this is also going to be a very gusty hurricane. So those are sustained winds of 100 and you know 30 plus miles per hour, but the gust could be 140, 150, 160 miles per hour. So th this really just has everything with it. We'll talk about the storm surge here in just a minute. Here's the satellite picture. You can see it coiling up the Hurricane Hunter plane just now getting into the center of this and giving us information on what's happening, which we'll bring to you here throughout the hour. The, in terms of the wind field of this, there have only been four other hurricanes that have been as big as this one in the Gulf of Mexico this century. And those have all been devastating. Some of our biggest in, in terms of damaging hurricanes that we've seen. The storm surge, though, is the big the big issue here and the big concern. 12 to 18 feet of potentially catastrophic storm surge into parts of the Big Bend. 